Hello, today I want to show you the benefit of pivot table in Excel. It's a very good tool in that analysis. So let's see this uh, demo. Here we have four columns, one for the client, the country of the client, sales in 2010 and 2011. So first of all, uh, we need to have a group data using country for example so uh, to do this we have to uh, choose insert then pivot table then I choose pivot table we have to select the area where the data is and usually selected by itself then I have to, to indicate where to put this pivot table let's put it in beside this uh, the normal table and here I can choose which cell to start the table it is here ok and then here the, the main data where I shall uh, put the information we have column data to be put in the column data to be put in the rows and here the value which were side inside the, the table itself so let's choose as we said we have to get the countries so we put the country in the row okay and the value itself can put the two years 2010 and 2011 we just drag them like this we just drag the other one so like this this will be okay so as you can see here is the table you can see the countries are um, grouped are sorted by the, the country name and here we have the sum of the sales for each country the sum of the sales for each country so it, it looks mm -hmm. like this table and search for the country starting with easy mm -hmm. and then sum the data together here ok so this nice what we can do else we can have like subtotal we can just uh, drag the, the client here to the row and you will find it here looks like this so let's, uh, let's uh, see this table the table now is uh, starting with the country and then inside each country you will find the client from this country I can collapse like this so it's very interesting isn't it Okay, so that's for uh, pivot tables. Let's do another pivot table which is uh, important. Uh, it shows the profile of the sales. So we will have a pivot table similar to this one, but it's uh, between sales of 2010 and 2011. And let's see what information can be revealed from this. Okay, again, insert pivot table okay and then put it in a new worksheet in the new worksheet I will put years of 2000 put it here in the row I will put 2011 in the column I don't want to put the values here here I just put the count of clients which mean how many times uh, this values of 2010 and 2011 came together so as you can see here I have the value for uh, 2010 and the values for 2011 and here I can see the people are concentrated like this record are concentrated like this and this uh, can reveal to us cluster areas where we can see most of the data is okay but there is some uh, thing to be refined uh, here there is uh, difference this difference is sometimes small sometimes uh, big and for example if you have value like um, uh, like 8.9 and 8 you find each of them has its own row we want to collect them in a way that looks like uh, group together data so 
to be able to do something we can go back to our data we can here we can uh, add another uh, another column insert okay another column insert and let's correct this two information so we'll have modified 2010 and modified 2011 oh sorry okay so uh, okay as we said we are going to consolidate the data so the data will be condensed in intervals of two for example so to be able to do this i can uh, use a function in excel called integer which means it um, takes a fraction out so if i uh, if I think 2 will be okay, I can take this, this cell and divide it by 2, which is the interval, and then multiply by 2. Again, this 2 is the interval. So, for example, if I'm going to do the same for uh, 2011, I can do it like this, equal, integer, and here I put uh, the cell. And then I divide by 3 for example, let's do it for, for 3 And then I multiply it by 3 Okay, that's interesting So, to do the same, I can just highlight these two cells And I can drag them Down like this Okay, everything looks okay, but just the uh, Okay, that's the format, it's not, it's not that nice I can just copy this format from these two rows and put them like this just to make it looks a bit nicer okay so the data now is ready i can go and <coughs> okay so for example uh, this modified m2000 uh, 2010 uh, 9.5 became 10 10.5 became 10 15.5 became 14 so we have like steps 10 12, 14, 16, and that's it. Here we have step uh, 3, so uh, 9, 12, 15, 18. Okay, so let's do the pivot table again. Insert pivot table. Okay, uh, new worksheet, and then I can do it. Um, okay, can the modified row in here okay. I can put the modified here in the column so I drag it here here I can put count of client and put it here okay here I see something strange this means the client came here so I just uh, drag it out count of client okay. So that's it. This is the data, and it's concentrated, and you can see now it's concentrated, concentrated about this area. Okay, about the change that happened with the values, it's not a very, very bad problem, but it's just it revealed to us where the data are clustered. So this is reveals the clustering of the data. So here we have most of the data came from this, from nine to twelve, and here from twelve to fourteen most of the data are there okay that's it so thank you and I want to try it maybe give him feedback or ask for some similar things okay hmm. here my email thank you